Hi everyone, I'm Frank Somerville. I'm in Livermore. This is Murrieta Boulevard. Just about a week ago, a guy driving a Corvette was coming down Murrieta Boulevard here. Police say that he was drunk, that he had a blood alcohol level almost twice the legal limit. They also say that he was speeding, by some estimates going up to 80 miles an hour. This is a 35 mile an hour zone. His car jumped the curb, came up, and right here there just happened to be a, a woman, a mother, and her 14 month old daughter. He hit them both, killed them instantly. One second they were here, the next second they were gone. He then dragged them underneath his car sideswiped these two trees and his car came to a stop against that apartment right there and you can see it caused some damage to the wall. This is the memorial that's been set up for the two victims. You know it's one thing to see these memorials in pictures, to see them in video, but it's another thing when you see them in person. It, 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 it just takes your breath away, it really does. Uh, there's all the flowers, all the candles and then look at this. Someone left a crown for the little girl. And over here, that's her. 14 months old, gone. The guy who was responsible, he's 35 years old, he lives not far from here. He was in court earlier this week as he was walking into court. Some of the family members of the victims were calling him a murderer and a killer. You are a murderer! They're furious that he's out on bail. His attorney said that his client is remorseful, feels horrible about what happened, says he's been an emotional wreck every second of every day uh, since the two people were killed. I think, honestly, if that was my daughter and my wife, I don't know, that just wouldn't mean a whole heck of a lot to me. Every day, 30 people are killed in drunk driving accidents. That's one person every 51 minutes. And the thing about drunk driving is it doesn't have to happen. No one forces you to drive drunk. It's a choice that you make. And now think about this. The father of this little girl, for the rest of his life, he has to look at that picture and wonder. Wonder what his little girl would have been like. What sport would she have been into? What subjects would she have liked? What college would she have gone to? What career would she have chosen? Who would she have married? Would she have had kids? What would she have been like? What kind of person would she have grown into? He'll never know the answers to any of those questions. And for the person who did it, no matter what happens to him, for the rest of his life, he has to think about the fact that he killed a baby. A baby. You know, people who drive drunk, always think it's never going to happen to them. Hey, I'll be fine. I'm okay. I can drive. You know what? This can happen. Every time you drive drunk, you are tempting fate. Is it really worth this? Is it really worth the loss of a 14-month-old daughter, 14-month-old girl and her mom? I just feel so bad for the, for the father. Um, he has a really long road ahead, a really difficult road ahead. All I can hope is that he can stay strong for the rest of his family. I hope you have a good week, and we'll see you again next week.